or at least I'm going to give you guys time to work on. So here's an example of our um, of some transformations that we have. But again, now these are kind of like dial these are like the stretching and the compressing. So we got to be careful. Again, main important thing we want to look at is it multiplying by a value outside or is it multiplying by a value inside? If we're multiplying by a value in outside, we call that basically a vertical stretch or compression. If it's multiplying by a value inside, we call it a horizontal stretch or compression. Okay? Notice how they're kind of the opposite. If you're multiplying by a number outside and that number is greater than 1, it's a vertical stretch. If that number you're multiplying by the outside absolute value is less than 1, it's a vertical compression. Um, however, if you're multiplying a number inside and that value is less, greater than 1, it's a horizontal compression. And if that value of C that you're val multiplying by is less than 1, then it's a horizontal stretch. So they, they kind of get flip-flopped again. But if you guys remember, when we were doing quadratics, remember when we did like a stretching and compressing? It looks something like this, right? So think about it. I mean, like a vertical stretch is the same thing as a horizontal compression. That's why these are kind of opposite. Whatever you vertically stretch is like the horizontal compression. So those kind of get swapped around. Anyways. What I'm going to do is let's first identify, am I multiplying a value inside or outside? I think if you guys can get that, then you can just follow these rules, and we'll just practice over and over. Yes? Sure, we can do the parent function. Parent function over here is absolute value of x. Am I multiplying it on the outside or the inside? I'm just going to write outer in. Okay. The parent function here is e to the x. Am I multiplying inside or outside? Outside. outside. Here, parent function is square root of x, multiplying by the inside. Here, my parent function is ln of x, and I'm multiplying by the inside. Here, I have 1 over x. Hmm. You could say, it, yeah, it's technically, I'll, I'll show you, but it is going to be outside. Uh, Technically, but it, it, I'll show you. It's kind of it's kind of could get the way, but you could say that um, this would be in and one over x, and this one is you could say it's kind of like both. You're multiplying by both of them, right? So, um, but I'm just going to say this as an outside, and I'll show you why. And then over here, in. in. And it's really technically doing the exact same thing. Um, Well, here, let's just make this all the same. Let's just make this all out. And I'll just explain why. OK, um, so now let's go through it. So I'm multiplying out, so therefore it's the vertical. Is 1 third greater than 1 or less than 1? Less than 1. So therefore it's a, I'm just going to write V because I'm trying to move along, compression. This is outside, but it's larger than 1, so it's a vertical stretch. Okay, Over here, I'm multiplying by the inside, so it's horizontal. 3, absolute value of 3 is greater than 1, so it's a horizontal compression. Here, I'm multiplying by the inside, but it's less than 1, so it's a horizontal stretch. And having your notes available when you guys are doing your homework will be helpful because, again, we're just going to practice over and over in these, so therefore we can eventually kind of get used to them. Now, the reason why I wrote this as outside, because, ladies and gentlemen, I could just multiply the parent function by 2. Would you guys agree? So technically, you're just taking this function and multiplying it by 2. So we, therefore, we can call it outside. So therefore, we could say it's a vertical, um, a vertical stretch because 2 is greater than 1. Now, the reason why you could have done in or out outside of these, because 1 over x is an odd function. So it actually it can go either. It doesn't actually matter if it's vertical or horizontal. It's actually either or because it's an odd function. The same thing works for um, the the same thing works for the, like the identity function. By shifting it to the right is the same thing as going up, um, or as going down. Sorry. So this one I could rewrite this as multiplying it by one half. Right? I could factor out the 1 half. Because what's 1 half times 1 over x? 
1 over 2x. So therefore, the outside, that's fraction. So therefore, you could say that it is a um, vertical compression. Over here, I could factor out a 3 halves. So now 3 halves is a fraction, but is 3 halves less than 1 or greater than 1? Greater. greater than 1. So therefore, this is a vertical stretch. And then this last one, um, this one confuses a lot of students, and we're going to get into this much more next, uh, later, later in the year. But you can rewrite this as sine of 1 half times x. Because what's 1 half times x? x over 2. It's the same thing, right? So therefore, I'm multiplying by 1 half inside the function. 1 half is less than 1, so it's a horizontal stretch. All right.